Now the first step is to let Seders building complete. Now when you launch the game, it builds Seders. Now both stage one and stage two, let it complete. Once this is complete, you can proceed. Now still not working, try NBA 2K26 without EAC. Now for this, uh, when you launch the game, uh, if you're okay with uh, offline, uh, you can select NBA 2K26 without EAC and then you can launch the game and then check. If you're already trying this, you can try the normal. Now it's still not working. The next step is to run EAC setup file. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then open easy anti-cheat folder. Here you can see easy anti-cheat EOS setup folder. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and then you can even if you don't see anything, just launch the game and then check. Now still not working, then you can install EA anti-cheat. Uh, sorry, easy anti-cheat. Now for this, you can make a right click on easy anti-cheat setup file in the same location, this location. And then click on show more option and then click on create shortcut. Once the shortcut is created, make a right click and then go to properties and then go to the target option. Now at the end, after inverted comma give one space after you give one space you can type in install space p r o d hyphen f n now hit apply over here and then click on ok make a right click on shortcut and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow if you see a prompt to click on yes to allow let it complete click on yes to allow and even if you don't see anything like command prompt will be you, you can see it for microsecond and it will go away still now you can launch the game and then check still not working do the same thing uh, with this open c drive now open program file 686 now now open not this one easy anti-cheat eos and then make a right click and then click on uh, show more option and then click on create shortcut and then it will be asking you to you know create shortcut to desktop now once you create create the shortcut make a right click and then go to properties again at the end of inverted comma uh, you can just give one space and then type in install this one this is provided in the video description give one space and install space prod hyphen fn now hit apply click on ok make a right click on this run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can launch the game and then check still not working make changes in the video settings file now for this uh, the changes which we will make you can turn off ray tracing you can try window mode now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive and then open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder Open, open 2K Sports folder, NBA 2K26. Here you can see video settings file. Make a right click. Open with Notepad. And over here, uh, find this window mode. Here you can see window mode. If this is set to two, like this is for full screen, I think, you can type in the value number one for window mode. And find ray tracing over here. Uh, you can scroll down okay okay you you should you should be able to find ray tracing so here you can see ray traced reflection now if this is set to true you can type in false over here and then you can go to file and then click on save once you save it uh, now make a right click on video settings, go to properties and then put a check on read only, hit apply, click on ok and then launch the game. Whenever you want to make changes again, in that case you can uncheck this read only and then you can make changes. When you do so, uh, now if that does not work, rename or delete the video settings file. So for this again you can go to this location and over here uh, you can just make a right click on video settings. When you delete it, you you will lose all the saved settings so you can just make a right click on video settings and then you can delete or you can delete it or you can even rename it and then launch the game and then check 
still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this make a right in the game select manage to browse local files and then scroll down over here you can see start protected game so make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and this should launch the game if that does not work uh, you can just uh, try to launch the game using this exe file make a right click you can just make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on okay make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work uh, make a right click on the game exe file once again go to properties this time select windows 8 hit apply click on okay launch the game if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on okay launch the game put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on okay and then you can launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on okay follow the next step now let me close the game for now now it's still not working uh, the next step is to try dx12 or dx11 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can go to properties once again this time you can try dash dx11 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to disable overlay steam overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select uh, general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other uh, overlay application like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings scroll down and then go to overlay turn off these overlay option turn off overlay and then close discord it's make a right click and then quit discord if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app and then go to settings and here you can see nvidia overlay you can turn this off and close nvidia overlay so close all the overlay application after you turn off overlay now close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner river tuner any kind of overclocking application running close it turn off uh, if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have any like you can even close all the third party application including your browsers and then check also if you have undervolted you can remove the undervolt if you have like any external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then to on virus and threat protection and then scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 636 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select this exe file click on open add an allowed app browser apps select this exe file click on open and then add an allowed app browser apps open easy anti cheat select this setup file you can add both the setup file if you have created a shortcut and then you can do the same thing in control panel control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already add, added again click on allow another app click on browse select this exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added so once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver this is important so go to your graphic uh, go to if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website and then select your graphic card from the list 
make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select your operating system click on start search Now on this page, the latest graphic card you'll see at the top right now, it's 581.15. We can click on get download and then you can download this file. And once the download is complete, run the exe file, click on yes to allow, click on okay, click on agree and continue, select custom option and then click on next. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. And after the clean installation, restart the computer and then launch the game. Now, still not work. Now for AMD users, go to AMD website, select your graphic card, Install it, restart your computer, and then check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box. Click on graphic settings over here. Click on add desktop app. And then again, go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on the game. Select high performance over here. And then again, click on add desktop app. You can select this start protected program as well. And find this NBA 2K26, this one, and then select high performance. If you have desktop, desktop users, connect the display cable or the HDMI cable to the de dedicated graphic card slot. Now, now, if the latest graphic card driver is not working, you can roll back graphics card driver. You can try earlier version so once you select your graphic card uh, you can try older version uh, you can even try this one 577.00 click on get download download the file and then once the download is complete run the exe file but when you go for installation put click on select custom option and then then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart you can be restart is a must after this and then you can check Next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, and then go to hardware and sound, and then go to power options. In my case, I have only balanced. In your case, if you find this uh, power saver mode, you will see power saver mode like this. So you will see power saver. You can select power saver over here, launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance check which one is working fine for you but first of all try power saver and then check now if you're using intel extreme tuning utility software if you don't have it you can install it if you're using it then you can open this intel extreme tuning utility software and then you can go to performance code you can lower down performance score ratio to maybe 55 54 53 and then hit apply and then relaunch the game now turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is on you can turn it off launch the game and then check if it is already off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this you can type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and under advanced click on the first settings go to advanced click on change over here uncheck the, this box and select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size over here you can try this uh, uh, if this does not work you can always revert back so no need to worry about this now once you select custom size for initial size 1.5 multiply total RAM you can check total RAM in system and then you can go to about option and here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabyte so you have to calculate as per your ram in my case it's 16 so i have to convert this 16 into megabytes 16 multiplied 1024 that is 16384 megabyte multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 in my case as per my ram maximum size 3 multiplied total ram uh, again 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 491524 491524 and then click on set set is important click on set and then click on ok and then ok and then you can relaunch the game and then check if that does not work restart your computer and then check still not working again type in view advanced system settings and then this time click on settings and then advance change 
select system manage size and then click on set set is important and then click on ok ok apply ok ok and then restart your computer and then you can check now still not working we will just revert to default now in that case uh, settings advanced change and then you can put a check over here and then click on ok and follow the next step next step is to verify the game files for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website okay uh, the link is different now so let me give you the right link you can search in google install visual c plus 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 file and then you can go to the official microsoft website here you can see visual studio files download this x86 and you have to download this x64 file as well so download both x86 and x64 run this file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once done now restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working update your windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart launch the game now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game turn on or turn off vsync you can turn off hdr uh, you can make changes in the uh, upscaling mode and try window mode lower down graphics uh, video settings and then check so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game you can go to features and then go to video settings over here and over here you can try window mode you can switch to window mode and then check you can also lower down resolution now if this is set to 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now over here resolution scaling method uh, if you are selecting nvidia dlss make sure that you set it to quality over here and then check now you can even uh, if that does not work you can uh, turn off upscale and then you can check the vsync uh, if this is on you can turn it off and then check scroll down and turn off hdr turn off ray tracing over here and overall quality uh, in my case uh, if this is set to like ultra you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then you can check the performance now still not working uh, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game manage uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on a windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel